Uh, we're here at the Reporting Change event uh, in Amsterdam where the book Stories of Change is also being launched today. And with me I have uh, Martin Schild from Schild Publishing. Can you say something about uh, your connection to World Press Photo yes. and um, what you are working on? Well, we are already since 2008, I think, uh, the publishers of the World Press Yearbook. And uh, we since last year, two years ago, we are the official publishers of all books from World Press, or co-produced co with World Press, apart, of course, from all the other books we make ourselves, etc. So, uh, we do uh, high, very high quality photography, both on uh, journalistic reportage, as well as art. Can you maybe say something more about like what the market is yeah. for the photography book right now? Well, that is a huge question and it's not so simple to answer shortly, but I'll try. Um, what you see is that these days uh, pub the publishing industry is changing dramatically, uh, which is, I mean, I'm not talking about negative or positive, it's changing dramatically. Um, in earlier days, uh, you would see that publishing always would go via publishers and publishers uh, always make uh, work like a, a sluice so there is uh, in a sense somebody is coming to a publisher if he reaches the publisher because it's not always easy and the publisher is looking at the project and at the person who's making that to see does it make sense to invest in the project in this photographer etc etc what you see now is two things a uh, because of the internet there is no no anymore so if photographers do not find publishers they will publish themselves or at least often and b uh, there is a, a, a very difficult situation for publishers also. So publishers often do need financial support in order to be able to publish a book and that has to do with prices going down on the internet so returns through distributors are very low. Uh, uh, making high quality books is very expensive so it often happens that uh, books which you know where you can have a certain return, let's say, of 10 euro a sold copy, cost 25 euro to produce. So you cannot make money on that. So you need support, one way or the other. So the situation is very confusing and very, uh, in a way, unstable. And, and I'm talking about the business side. If you look at the creative side, in a way, of course, what's happening now is very intriguing because the fact that there is no limit anymore in how people can or uh, will produce books uh, also brings books, bring books which are sometimes, not often, but sometimes very good that they appear. And in the, in the old situation, it might not have happened because publishers would not see an economic possibility for you. So in that sense, don't misunderstand me. For me as a publisher, as a normal, normal commercial publisher, I'm not against self-publishing, I'm not against all these kind of developments. I'm just saying we all in this business, including the photographers, including the publishers, including everybody who is involved, should be very careful because what you see is that um, tenth tens of thousands of new titles, photography book titles, appear every year and there is just no market for that. So what you see at the moment is that there is a very, you know, positive idea sort of, I, I don't know how to say that, but that, that everybody thinks that, that photo books are the new, and I can tell you it's just not true. It seems to be the case. But it's not true. It doesn't. It's not true that there are more pub, more photography books sold uh, in total, a little bit, but not a lot. Um, which means that per title, the print run goes dramatically down, and 
that is for self-publishing sometimes not such a problem because you can make 100 copies or 50 or 25 or 10 or 200 or, whatever, or, or 1000 even or whatever you want but or can can sell you think but for uh, commercial publishers like me it is at a certain point not worth anymore to publish specific books although you would really like to publish them and you think it can really be part of your publishing house which is also very good for the photographers because there is no economic sensibility in it anymore unless there would be a huge support so but this has all to settle I mean I think what what we need is in the in the next two three years we have to see how this develops because I think uh, in a way that uh, all this, I mean, you will see that there will be even more books, probably twice as much, and then it, whew, it will go down because there is no market. Okay, so, and uh, but thinking about the photographer from the photographer's perspective now, if you, what would you advise the photographers then? Would you, would you say go with self publishing because you can get your story out, or would you say, you know, really consider? Who you publish your your book with? It um, it's it's a question you cannot answer so black and white. Um, what you can say in general is that if the work of a photographer is superbly good, that it makes sense to make a book out of it. I mean, many photographers are making great stories, but it doesn't mean that it has to be a book. Mm -hmm can be a great exhibition or it can be part of a great bigger exhibition or whatever or it can be an internet publication uh, so it's not necessary to make books that's one thing of course books are the strange thing is that the more the internet is taking over or lead is sort of taking the lead in how the market is the more important books are becoming in the in the eyes of the photographers which means that photographers are thinking that if they don't make books they are not take, being taken seriously now i can tell you of course that in some cases and we also support that that uh, in some cases it's very important for photographers that a book is made out of their work in a specific series or whatever and that it will help them dramatically in their career but it's not it's not true always so you have to be in this market very very um, uh, critical to yourself if it really makes sense to make a book why would it be a book why should it be I mean if you look at all these books and if you think that it's impossible that it can reach one why it's the same let's say if you if you compare it to I mean many of these books are, are, are funded through crowdfunding for instance and people are just pushing putting things on, 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 on crowdfunding websites expecting that somebody will support them which sometimes happens but at the same time what you see is that the crowdfunding system is going to change dramatically also in, in the near future because there is so many people that it doesn't make sense anymore. So you will see that it makes sense to do crowdfunding for a very good book project which is really interesting to publish. It might be yourself or a publisher who never is doing that. But if you as a as a uh, as a photographer want to get a book published and you want to do it via crowdfunding these days you really need to be sure that at least one third to one to fifty percent you have already in your mind who is going to pay for that because if you just put it on crowdfunding websites and nothing happens it will die immediately because there's so much going on so the creativity and the fact that everything is possible is leading to a lot of interesting and, and, and things of course as i said before at the same time what you see is that 99 percent you and i will never hear about because it's being made but it disappears in the big meravoir of things you will never hear about anymore anyway and i think uh, speaking about 
being published by a good publisher gives, of course, very much extra sometimes in the sense of the fact that the publisher is willing to take it on, the fact that the publisher is willing to invest, no matter that he cannot invest everything, but at least you know, a substantial part. The fact that you're part of, um, let's say, the old-fashioned way of how a publisher house should be, namely creating a family of uh, equal-minded people who can also contact each other and help each other in that sense, which works very well. The fact that publish, uh, publish, at least publishers like me, I don't know how everybody else works exactly, but uh, like we are publishing is, is, is very much to do not only with making books and trying to sell these books, now it's about more and more being almost, almost, I'm saying we're not, but almost agents for the photography. So when we go a step further, uh, we also open the gallery, so it's also opening those kind of perspectives. So it's something you really have to take. All these kind of things you have to put in your head and make the right decision.